Yo. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, folks? It's your boy, the Mix Monster, DJ Coach K here. And welcome to Ask a Real DJ. As you can see, I'm out here walking the dog, looking like a broke-ass doctor and all that good stuff with this mask on. But you know I got to do what I got to do. I got to social distance while I'm out here. And if I'm not supposed to be out here for any other reason, besides walking the dog or going to the store, my butt's in the house. You should be too. Anyhow, today, you know what? We're gonna talk about the five myths of a real DJ. Five myths. You wanna know what a real DJ does and doesn't do? We're gonna talk about it. So if you're ready for it, give me a minute. I'll be right back with you guys and we'll make that happen. All right? Those top five myths of a real DJ. Ain't that some... I'll be back, man. Y'all stay right there. Oh man, welcome back. It's your boy, the Mix Monster DJ Coach K. As I promised, here I is, major pain like Damon Wayne's. Rest in peace, Biggie Smalls. Oh man, let's talk about it now that I done walked the dog. All right. Oh boy, we're going to talk about the top five myths of a real DJ. So if you're ready, I'm ready, and we're going to go there today. All right? So let's go. All right. First one. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. A real DJ uses Serato because it's the professional DJ software that is standard in nightclubs, and virtual DJ is for mobile DJs and bedroom DJs because they're amateur, it's an amateur software that all you got to do is press the sync button and it'll do all the work for you. Oh, how to sway, take a, oh, how to sway, take a, how to sway, take a. Yeah, know something. I got a ton of reasons why when stuff is said like that by so many DJs, I just feel like they need to be Debo right now. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, yet to assure you got the memo, why don't you do us all a favor for anyone that believes that crap, slap yourself. Do that for us all, just slap yourself. Because what you don't realize is this, and I have a great relationship with at least one or two people in these different DJ software areas, you know, that work for them. From Serato to Virtual DJ to Tractor, and yes, even Rekordbox, okay? They're all professional DJ softwares that has their pros and they have their cons. Plus, here's the deal. The main thing is the software doesn't make you a real DJ whatsoever. If you're trash, you're trash. P-E-R-I-O-D. Period. Besides... All of the DJ software has the exact same features. So what are you saying here? Because they all have their cue points, their FX, their lubes, their sync buttons. Oh gosh, I said the S word again. I know someone's freaking out right now. Oh good, I'm glad you are. Drop, hit the floor, bust your head open to the white meat. I don't care. Okay, DVS systems, etc. Many of you, you know something, y'all talk this mess and you haven't even earned the title to be called a DJ yet. Some of you haven't even been in a nightclub, let alone rock, the, you told about you rocked at them or you rocking at them. You haven't even stepped in one, but you're going to tell someone what makes a real DJ. Get out of here. Go do something with yourself. Oh my goodness. Number two. All right. Number two, a real DJ only uses turntables and vinyl come on now come on son really that's kind of like the first one yet this one has even bigger holes than that one because although the traditional method of rocking out on turntables yeah it's still relevant to this day and i do it myself and i love it and we all love it to the core for those that do it here's the thing we went from dang the original vinyl to Time code vinyl, the original sound to compressed sound of MP3s. Oh my gosh, think about this. 
and many of us veterans that are DJs, here's the deal. Pre-CDJ, pre-DJ controllers are now using controllers or CD players, especially those who are anti-CDJ and anti-controller DJs, okay? They're using those controllers and CDJs more than anyone. Oh, my goodness. Convenience. What can I say? Does it make them a fake DJ because they're using it now? I think not. Trust, the game has changed. A lot has changed. And you know something? Here's the beautiful thing. While the sound might not be the same, who do you hear complaining about back pain because they were carrying their hard drive as opposed to carrying 10 to 15 crates of records? Think about that. All right. Number three. Okay, number three, here's the deal. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A real DJ never sits down. And if he does, that DJ is whack. Oh, my goodness. You want to talk about a, a lie? You know, something that song goes, lies, lies, old words you say, something of that nature. Here's the deal. I used to think that was a fact myself. Until I realized something, my pride, my ego made it a physical health issue for me. Yeah, DJs, we have some of the dumbest unwritten rules in the world. And the older I got, the wiser I got. It was just like, whatever. Okay, don't get me wrong. You should be standing up, rocking out as a DJ. But here's the deal. It's time to use wisdom. It's time to take a load off your feet every once in a while. Oh, man, why let your pride and ego hurt you in the long run like many other DJs that are paying for it right now as we speak today because they wouldn't sit down. You know, you're standing up four, five, six hours, sometimes seven, eight hours even on your feet. It's not good. And because of that, DJs that have worked a long time have been doing this a long time. Guess what? They got back, leg, and foot issues galore. You know, when people tell me that a DJ should not be sitting when he's rocking out, I laugh because I think of the legendary DJ Hollywood and how now he's at a point where he's up there in age because he's been in the game for so long that he sits down now. He sits down at parties and you know something? He rocks out the whole night. He doesn't give you a chance to even sit your butt down. He got you on that dance floor going hard the whole night. Right from his seat. Right from his seat. He's on the mic. Yeah, this is the legendary DJ Hollywood. Boom, 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 bang, bang. Boom, tang, boom, tang. I don't want rocking out, right? And the dance floor doesn't have a chance. He got the floor packed and he does this better. Then so many DJs that are standing up, I would say anywhere from 95 to 98% of the DJs in the world that are standing up, rocking out, he does it 10 times better. Yeah, what do I know? I've only been in this game since 85. I only studied the history growing up before it became what it was. And if you're a real DJ, here's a fact. Know your history. Let's get to number four. Oh, man, number four. Wow. <laughs> this has to be the, the super dumb myth of them all. A real DJ knows every song that has ever been made. Seriously? Are you kidding me? You know something? As one of my drill sergeants used to say when I was in the United States Army, he used to say to us all, son... You know, you got a better chance of scratching a bobcat's ass with sandpaper than that ever being the case. And you know something, as crazy as it sounds, you get the point. Because as much as myself as a DJ that's been in this game for so long, and the love I've had for music way before I became a DJ, until now, being one that's in such love with the history of music and enjoy music from all 
types of backgrounds, genres, etc. Even I don't have that kind of time. Dude, I'm not the 40-year-old virgin. Okay, so I'm sorry. I don't have that time on my hands to figure out that many doggone songs in the world. And besides, I got a wife and kid that I got to deal with on a regular basis. So, sorry. I love my wife and kids to the point, to the core. I say wife and kid. Excuse me. Wife and kids. I, kids done growing up. Another story. I love them to the core that I would rather spend more time with them than spend time twiddling my thumbs trying to figure out every doggone freaking song in the world to make everyone in the world happy. Nope. That's not going to happen. Especially in an era right now where... You got new songs every day to the point that a song could be hot at 11 a.m. today and old by 7 p.m. tonight. It's that crazy. New artists every day, new songs every day. Here's the deal. A real DJ is knowledgeable of the music that he or she is playing. But we will never know every doggone song in the world. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. You are not God. I am not God. And I don't have a complex to be God. And neither should you. Period. All right. We're going to get down to the final one. Are you ready? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Number five. A real DJ never takes a request. You know something? That might have been true some years, maybe in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 50s, 30s, and so on and so on and so on, right? Even possibly the early 2000s that a DJ might have, that might have been the case for a DJ, a real DJ. Yet this day and age, you can best believe a real DJ is taking requests to something of some kind. Now, don't get me wrong. Requests are still optional. Remember that. But trust me when I say this. I know this because back in the days, there was a point in time, no one asked me for a request. They just let me rock out, and that was that. Whatever played, they rocked out. They trusted my decision. And that was for pretty much every DJ out there. The crowds trusted the decision of the DJ. Today, that is not the case. There's no longer you play what you want to play whenever you want to play and however you want to play it. Like Biggie Small said, things done changed. Oh, yeah, they have changed. You're taking requests for various reasons these days, okay? And whether you like it or not, you have little to no choice but to respect it at this point in time because that is the case. You're going to take requests whether you want to or not. All right, so let's do this real quick. Let's rehash the top five right now. All right, a real DJ only uses Serato because virtual DJ is for amateurs. Number two, a real DJ only uses turntables and vinyl. Number three, a real DJ never sits down because a DJ that sits down trying to rock out is whack. And, and. A real DJ number four knows every song that has ever been made. And. Number five. A real DJ doesn't take requests. And, and, and. Nope. All lies. All lies. All right. I got to get out of here. You'll see me soon for the next video. We'll talk about that. And, uh, well, do yourself a favor. Like, love, and follow me. You'll see at the end of this video, you'll see how to do that. Also, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit the subscribe if you haven't. And then hit that little bell to get notifications for my next videos that will be coming out. Because I'm going to just start pumping them out left and right. And we're going to talk about so much in such a little time. All right. Oh, boy. It's your boy, the Mixed Monster, DJ Coach K, saying I'm up. I'm out of here. See ya. Would want to be a salute. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs>